Okay, so today is a pretty big day. We're gonna try to put this thing on its wheels finally. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit on this table, but we're gonna hoist it up and get it on its wheels and uh, then we can start moving on to some other important things like the propeller location exact and the body lines because we wanna make sure it looks good with its wheels on it. So I got this hoist. Basically have to strap it in the center, pick it up. Yeah, so we'll get started with that. This is just going to wrap this around the transmission. I have to adjust it a little bit so we get it balanced. It's going up! These things, they're just plastic. Uh, basically mock-up pieces because the coilovers are springy so they'll never sit at the same place uh, but these will all four corners will be at ride height as soon as I get it high enough I'm gonna put the back wheel on this is the way the front is designed here what are you looking at, camera? Sorry, the camera crew's a little asleep here. Uh, it's still pretty early for them. That bolts up inside of here. A couple things I gotta do is drop this axle down. Somehow get this in here. You basically attach it inside here. And this right here is just temporary. I don't want it collapsing with to put the weight on it. So it's a little heavier in the front than the back. I'm gonna have to put two tires in the front and one tire in the back, so it's gonna get even heavier in the front, so I'm gonna move this strap a little. Might be able to put the front wheels on. Oops. This thing might be perfectly balanced. Wow, wow, wow. Appears to be too wide for the table, but I think we can put the back wheel on now. Might help, at least balance it somewhat. So this is the little spindle I made. So this isn't the best design in the world as far as ease of assembly. I haven't actually had this thing together yet, so hopefully all the measurements work. Kind of see like these bolts might be hitting the tire. Look at that. Balanced pretty good right now. Might just barely get this thing to fit on this table. It's rolling. And there's your ground clearance at travel or at ride height. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. About six feet wide. I better try to find some piece of wood or something that's gonna fit under there. Piece to match for the back. I think that's uh, about all we can do today, to be honest with you. The wheels are very important on a vehicle because where you put them and then how you shape the body around them. It's fairly long wheelbase, uh, but there's not a whole lot you can do to shorten it because you got a lot of stuff squeezed in here. Um, and it's actually kind of more stable if you have a longer vehicle on the water. The longer the boat, the straighter it goes. Um, you know, if it's a short thing, it bounces all over. These are the propeller shafts, one inch stainless steel. These are off an old boat. 
These are propellers I'm going to try to use. They're 13 12s, so 13 inches around, 12 inch pitch. And the plan here is to mount these right in here. I was hoping to have an articulating up and down mechanism to adjust the height of the propeller because the bottom of the boat is about here, which means if you ever want to achieve planing on the surface of the water, you're going to have to have the surface of the water about here. If the propeller is mounted up there, fixed, you're just going to have that maybe two inches of it sticking into the water. The thought was you lower this just to get a good bite in the water. Yeah, that way the propeller is still mostly in the water when you're up at speed. They may never be able to achieve planing speeds because of these wheels, just the amount of drag they produce. But I was kind of thinking of doing some skis on these guys. So this is where all the prototyping comes in. These are sort of new ideas that may or may not work right. And that's the point of this vehicle is to try to try to prove that theory. I haven't tried to sit in this thing in a while. So I'm gonna maybe do that. I'm gonna strap this thing down though so we don't go for a roll. We could be sitting a little further forward. This will be a back cushion. Pretty uh, tight in here still, but there's enough for the steering. I think it'll be about there. Pedals mount down in there. So basically this part will all be open. I'm gonna do something with a windshield. Back here will be an engine cover. It's a long shot at this point, but maybe a roof. Yeah, and all this will be removable. So you can, not real easily removable, but the panel's gotta come out because the engine and transmission pulls up and slides out this hole here. It'll be your seat bottom. This will be another aluminum piece here. So that'll all pull up. And this floor here, this area here will, I think will be just filled in. So there'll be like three sections to the boat. In case you have a, a failure and a leak somewhere, the front will be a section be a firewall here that'll enclose so the front cone, the engine or the compartment here, the driver compartment, and then the engine compartment will all be separate. So if something starts to leak, you'll know about it. Well, you'll know which area it's in instead of the whole boat's taking on water. The next part of this job is gonna be propellers. I gotta get those finalized location and mounting. And I'm gonna start pulling these aluminum rods and trying to make these body lines make sense because I kinda of have to do that and then start putting paneling on it because the paneling is what makes it, gives it a lot of its strength. And if it's not on there, then it's, uh, it's kinda of hard to envision where everything is going to. Uh, cause I got to put a radiator in the front and make some scoops for that. These have to kick out a little bit more. So this area right here is a little weird and I've been fighting this for a while cause it doesn't really flow right aesthetically. And I think it'd be fine in the water cause the water will kind of come through and get into the propeller area here and just flow out. But this is sort of choppy. It doesn't look right. So. Somehow I gotta make this nice. This will probably cut off some of this to try to triangulate it. It's just roughed in there right now. I'll probably connect here and just sort of start widening it slightly. Um, figure out some tail lights in here. So thanks for watching. We'll uh, hopefully keep you updated on more videos as we uh, make progress on this. It's been slow going. I haven't really worked on this for like a year, so it feels good to get it on wheels finally and have some progress to show. Uh, so you can follow if you like the project and want to stay updated on it, or you can just watch it two years from now when it's done, but that's your choice. <laughs>